study is called uh, SHLA HFXT, which is SHLA means sleep and heart failure. We were able to rule out sleep apnea in only 25% of the patients. So that meaning that 75% of the patients will have sleep or breathing of one or other type or severity. And about half of them, or let's say roughly 45%, will present with a moderate to severe either obstructive or central sleep apnea. We see that with including now have PEF patients into the registry, we see much more obstructive sleep apnea compared to central sleep apnea before. Sleep disorder breathing is very prevalent in heart failure, either have REF and have PEF. It's all the data so far out say that it has a prognostic impact. You can treat it. And I think my, my key message is screen your patients for prevalence of sleep or breathing and look for data out there if treatment changes anything in prognostic prognosis of them or quality of life. And we have to clearly differentiate, I think at that point, from obstructive and central sleep apnea. Serve HF, 1,325 systolic heart failure patients presenting central sleep apnea were randomised to receive either adaptive servo ventilation or medical management alone. Median follow-up was 31 months. We found actually there was no difference in outcome at all and surprisingly, which has taken both respiratory physicians and cardiologists completely by surprise, we found an increase in mortality. And if you look at cardiovascular mortality, it was up 34%. So not only does it not make any difference to the patients with systolic heart failure, it actually increases the risk of them dying. So this is a real game changer trial, really important. All of the available patients who were randomized uh, in trials, we put those patients together from individual patient data. And so we were able to do something that hasn't been done before, which is to look at age as a continuous variable and look at the benefits of beta blockers compared to placebo across all ages uh, and gender. Uh, and what we found was that patients who were older got exactly the same benefit from beta blockers as younger patients if they were in sinus rhythm. Uh, with an absolute risk reduction of around 4%, uh, whether you were 50 or whether you were 75. Um, looking at the results for gender, women had less mortality, as you'd expect, but actually, again, they got exactly the same benefit that men got from beta blockers. So this suggests, very importantly, that the practice that seems to be out there that women and older patients get less beta blockers is something that we shouldn't do and reinforces the need for all of these patients uh, to get uh, guideline recommended treatments. The ESC Heart Failure Long Term Registry is a general registry under the European Observational Research program of the ESC and the aim is to know the epidemiology and management of patients, adult patients with heart failure in ESC countries or Mediterranean countries. This registry started in 2011. So far we have enrolled more than 24,000 patients from 31 ESC countries and 320 active centers participating. According to the Kaplan-Meier survival curves, the mortality at one year is 23.6% for acute heart failure patients and around 6% for chronic heart failure patients. The mortality for acute heart failure is still high, while mortality for chronic heart failure is lower. And this might reflect that there has been no new therapies in the last years for the acute heart failure patients. However, when the therapies for a chronic heart failure patients recommended in the guidelines are applied, the results are better. We gave a composite analysis of three trials of nurse-led multidisciplinary home-based intervention. We firstly showed that that intervention indeed reduces hospital stay, prolonged survival and prolonged days alive out of hospital. However, 
when you looked at clinical complexity, at low complexity, it doesn't do any good compared to standard care. But as the complexity rises, home-based intervention has profound impact for the patient and should be applied systematically if they do have high complexity.